Hey everyone, I wanted to show you another example how you can communicate between Rabia and Python. So in this example, in the previous example that I've shown, you had the Python server and a LabVIEW client. In this example, you have a LabVIEW server that accepts multiple connections and the Python client that tries to connect to it. And in this situation, I am using actually the example that comes from the inbuilt examples that are available in LabVIEW. And this one is called the TCP Multiple Connections Server. So you can find it in the example finder with LabVIEW. Uh, there is, however, one small modification that I added to it. And this modification stems from the fact that LabVIEW is uh, Little Indian, little Indian encoded, and uh, Python by default uses Big Indian. Um, so because of this, they wouldn't be able to communicate. So essentially, you need to take the original example, and you need to add just one small simple thing to it. So whenever you are sending data, because we are sending data to an environment working with native Big Indian encoding we need to reverse the byte array representing the integer number. So essentially that's the whole modification that you have to do here. And otherwise, essentially your LabVIEW server will be accepting also connections from Python. And just uh, to show that, I've written a simple uh, Python client. And this client essentially, again, just we open a socket with the default uh, configuration. We specify the server address to be localhost and port 8089. So here we need to set the server to actually listen on port 8089. So here, when we initialize, here we have to set it. Right, so uh, we connect to the server and then essentially in a loop just 100 times I am receiving, uh, first of all, the size of the packet that was sent. And here, because it's byte packed, I am actually receiving four bytes from the server. And I need to convert those bytes. So I'm using here the struct library, the struct module, and the unpack function. So I'm converting that to an integer, and I'm unpacking four bytes to do it. And then I'm extracting the integer from the tuple. So this is the size. And then the string data that I want to receive from the server is actually just receiving the specific number of bytes that is the size. And then I'm just showing the data on the screen after decoding it to an ASCII format because it's just bytes normally. So if I want to show it without the byte information, I just convert it to ASCII. So this is the simple client. I'm not going to run it from here, uh, but from the command line. And uh, to achieve this, I just need to type into the command line uh, simple client.py and run it at Python. And I will do the same thing in two places actually, but after starting the server. So here I start the server and it's just going to wait for connections forever. And here I can start it away. And as you can see, it's generating data and this client is receiving data. And I can start, start the same thing here. And I can have multiple connections running at the same time. In this situation, I have two connections. Those are just two Python scripts running at the same time communicating with LabVIEW. So like in the previous example, you could use LabVIEW and send commands from LabVIEW to a Python server. And you could essentially automate Python like this. With this, you can send commands and receive responses from a LabVIEW server so you can automate LabVIEW. So essentially, you choose the flavor you like more. I hope it's uh, informational for you. Have fun and let me know if you have any questions.